Uh, here we are at the, in the Iwako, Washington at the Karnofsky Gardens. My name is Jim Karnofsky. I'm an experimenter with biochar. I use it in my soil and it also sequesters carbon out of the atmosphere. So the biochar is made first of all by pyrolysis. It's uh, burning in the absence of oxygen. Let's just think of it as condominiums for microbiology. And they set there forever. And it makes this huge net, coral reef, of microbiology. So when you put your organic uh, nutrients on there, they, they gobble them right up and they're entered into this living net that doesn't go through and leach into the groundwater. It stays there and as the life eats this organic material that you put on there for growing, it releases it slowly into the plants as the plants need it. And when it rains uh, 10 feet a year in where you live, like it does here, you have something that holds the micronutrients and the microbes, they just don't wash through the sand and go out into the water table and waste away into the ocean for us. You're making little hidey holes for microbes, you're making uh, the water holding capacity increase, you're making the cation exchange better so that stuff doesn't wash through and uh, that it has a good, effective and efficient metabolism. Carbon is the most unique element in, our, uh, in, in all of chemistry. It has a unique way to bind to each other. Well, one interesting fact that you need to know yeah. is that the um, carbon cycle takes 100% of the carbon out of the atmosphere every 14 years. Not every thousand years, but every 14 years the, um, the photosynthesis and uh, the carbon cycle of the Earth moves 100% of the carbon 1 14th every year. Goes in and out of the carbon cycle. So by interrupting part of that carbon cycle, taking a, just a small amount of that 1 14th of that carbon cycle, putting it into a, a stable carbon form that helps the soil, then when I put it into my, into my soil, it sequesters it forever. I'm actually taking CO2 out of the carbon cycle in the atmosphere. You know, it, something so simple as this is going to change the world. If you have uh, a, um, a pile that's just left there to rot, mm -hmm. what's going to happen there is uh, methane and nitrous oxide. Uh, ox nitrous oxides are going to come off. Nitrous oxides are known to be uh, three to four hundred times worse than CO2 in the atmosphere. And uh, methane is uh, known to be 20 times or thereabouts worse than CO2. Mm -hmm. Out of a clean burn, I'm getting mainly CO2. There's no unburned methane, there's no nitrous oxides uh, uh, there that are not trapped in uh, the nitrogen is trapped in into this carbon the carbon formation so um, it's a cleaner burn There's no downside to it that we have found. No downside. So wherever the high carbon uh, biochar is located, you have essentially an oasis or a coral reef of life. Instead of having a desert in your soil where there's no life, wherever that biochar is, you have little hidey holes for microbiology and, and food and water that keeps them alive. Uh, we are capable of doing geoengineering and adapting. I think we should be able to uh, date my soil um, uh, circa 2009, 2010. 
the Earth is going to survive, whether the Earth is going to survive in a form that supports human life is the question. Basically condominiums for microbiology and life. High five, good analogy at the end. <laughs>